Hi, this is Dr. Felice Gersh, and I'm here to enjoy a wonderful time with my granddaughter. But first, I'm going to invite her to join me here. Hi, Hi. there, Dana. <laughs> this was so exciting for me to get to interview you as my number one first and most special interview guest. So how about if we get going, right? So here yeah. we are. This is the Instagram live show with Dana Perella as my guest. I'd like to introduce myself first for those of you who are new to my show. I am Dr. Felice Gersh. I'm an integrative OBGYN doctor. That means I harness the inner healing abilities of the body by utilizing the safest and most efficacious therapies to help every one of my patients to achieve optimal health. Now, optimal health includes mind, body, and spirit. And one of the ways to become really healthy in every which way is to do good deeds. I mean, really, we always say, you always get back a thousandfold what you give gets back to you. And one of those who is my inspiration about how to be living the giving life is my granddaughter, Dana. Dana, I'd like you to introduce yourself to the wonderful people out there who are anxious to learn all about what you're up to. Hi guys, <laughs> I'm Dana and I'm the founder of my nonprofit Cookies for Cures. And we raise money to fund research into rare pediatric diseases by baking and selling cookies. Wow, and how long has this been going on? It's been going on for three years, ever since I was seven. Seven, that's amazing. Now, this could have just happened for no reason. Maybe you could share how you got involved in the first place in such an enterprise as this. Sure. So it all really started off with my friend Mila. I met her at speech therapy, and when I was seven, I found out that she had been diagnosed with a rare and fatal disease called Batten, and I knew I needed to try and help her. So I started Cookies for Mila to try and raise money to find a treatment for Mila's form of Batten, which is the rare disease that she got. Um, and yeah. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about how much money you raised for Mila and what happened in terms of the research involving her particular medical condition. Mm -hmm. um, so by the end of the year, I had raised over $56,000. <laughs> over $56,000? crazy. And it helped fund a groundbreaking treatment for Mila's form of Batten. Unbelievable. Though she's still around today. That is such an amazing story. But somehow that wasn't the end of the story, even though you'd actually raised almost $60,000 for research into Mila's condition, and they actually came up with a therapy to actually help her and others with that condition. But that didn't stop you from p pursuing more. So where did you go next? What happened after that? Well, after that, I found out that one of my other friends, Ollie, had also developed a, a rare disease, and I was devastated. I didn't understand why this kept on happening to me, um, but I knew I also needed to help him, so then I changed cookies for Mila into my nonprofit Cookies for Cures to try and help other kids too. Wow, and it's just kept growing from there, right? And now I yep. believe you have um, a new little friend, a new boy who you're working with and you have a special project going on with him. Maybe you could tell us about what's going on with, I believe his name is Ben, right? And, yep. and how your foundation has linked up with his and, and what's happening in that regard. Um, so because I had helped Mila and Ollie, I was invited to this rare, rare disease summit called Global Genes, and I was invited to speak at the gala. Wow. Um, 
Ben introduced me, and then we also got to go and meet Lenny Kravitz together to pick up a signed guitar. Wow. And so Ben has another childhood rare disease. That's correct? Yep. Is there anything uh, you can ben yeah, tell us? Ben has a disease called SMA that stands for spinal muscular atrophy, and it's a de degenerative disease that weakens all of his muscles, um, so which includes motor muscles, but then it also includes muscles that help you breathe. Wow. So now you're really working very hard with, um, with him, and he has a, a separate foundation that you've kind of linked with to try to raise money for, and you have um, like a matching program. Maybe you could share information about that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we partnered up with Cure SMA, and we each decided to raise $50,000 to fund a research grant that is going to fund research into SMA, um, and I'm super, super duper close to my side but we, I just need a, a couple more thousand dollars. So for just, so just for the SMA cures, for this mm -hmm. one particular project to raise 50,000, yep. you're almost there. You're like about 48,000. Yeah. So close. Yeah. So, so how can people help with, with getting you to your goal? Because I believe that there's um, a matching that's going on as well, right? Yeah, thank you so much for being, for providing a match. So my yeah. grandma is providing a $1,000 match and we're trying to get up to 1,000. Um, and then that'll get us really, really, really close. Right, so um, to repeat it, that once um, we get to 1,000, I'm gonna put in 1,000 to match it. And then you'll be like right there or like right on the edge, right? So yeah. So even the smallest donation is going to be really helpful, right? Yes, it will. You're so close. I'm so excited about this. And you are phenomenal. Let's talk about the cookies. And then, of course, we definitely want to make sure. Well, maybe we'll tell them now. Like, for, We'll go over it again at the end. But for people who want to contribute to help you reach your goal of 50000 and I'm going to be matching that 1000 and everything that comes in, how can they help? How can they donate and get some, some help for these children that are suffering, like Ben, with SMA? Well, the easiest thing that you can do is donate. You can go to my webpage, which is www.cookiesforcures.com, and there's a big donut donate button up in the corner. Right, and and how do you um, write cookies for? It's a number four, right? Oh yeah, it is the number four. Right, cookies for cures. I love that name, and we'll come back to it as well. It's also in my bio on my Instagram, so people can find it easily. And, but let's talk about cookies, right? So you yes, are cookies. a cookie I have one maniac with me. making cookies all the time, right? So you, oh, let me see that one. Put that up again. This is my favorite cookie, which is a chocolate peppermint one. Oh, and great. it's chocolate with chocolate chips and peppermint bits inside. And it's oh. super duper yummy. That sounds fantastic. Well, let's talk about how many cookies you make. I mean, you have made a lot of money. Well, how much money have you brought in now for your foundation to help with children who are suffering from rare diseases? How much have you actually collected? Well, over the past three years, I've raised over $150,000. <laughs> Amazing. All for children with rare diseases. Amazing. And you have done that largely by baking these delicious cookies, which you just showed us one of them. I cannot wait to try one of those. So you have cookie sales. Like, tell us about, like, what, what do you do to create these cookies? You, like, um, do it on weekends? How do you find the time? And then tell us about your cookie sales and such. Um, well, we do it a lots of times during the week. 
it's usually like right after school, if it's on a school day or if it's a weekend, then we just go and bake it sometime during the weekend. And then you have local cookie sales too. And then you also ship them around the country too, right? Yep. So it doesn't matter where you live, you can get your cookies, right? So people can buy cookies and that's a way of donating or they can just donate money, right? Which, either which way. Mm -hmm. And um, did you just have a recent cookie sale? Yes, we did. Um, over the weekend, we had a cookie sale and it was super duper fun. Where do you hold them? Um, so my friend Sophie, who I'm also raising money for, she has an ultra rare disease called MCTL that's going to make her bones dissolve. Um, Sophie's parents own a restaurant and um, I've been doing my cookie pop-ups from there. Oh, that's fantastic. And you get big turnouts, don't you? Yep. So I know you've been working really hard to publicize your foundation and all the good it's doing. So where have you spoken? You mentioned that you went to um, and spoke at a conference, right? On rare yep. childhood diseases. Can you just say again what that conference was called and where it was, it was located? It called Google Genes. And then later I also spoke at a company called Retrofin, which is now Trevere. And, um, and then COVID started, so I haven't really done much public speaking after that. And um, I think you've had some interviews, haven't you, with the local, like, newspapers or radio. Can you tell us about that? Um, now I've been in the local newspaper twice. Um, well, one of them. And then I've also been in a couple other local newspapers. Um and then I've also been on a couple podcasts. Wow. Is this your first Instagram live? Uh, it's my first or second. Oh, okay. I know if I could be the first. And um, tell us <laughs> about any award. Has, have you won any awards yet for all the, the good that you're doing? Yes, I have. I won the Baron Prize. Um, and... That included $10,000 to help me out with all of my work. That sounds incredible. I cannot tell you how proud I am. You've won awards. You've been flown around the country to speak at conferences. You've been in the newspaper. And all this time after school, you're devoting your hours to baking cookies. And you've raised over 150 thousand dollars to help children suffering from rare diseases and you've gotten to know multiple children in your own backyard area right where you live who are actually suffering from rare childhood diseases pretty amazing isn't it like yes. one kid one kid like you could know so many kids of course some of sometimes you know once you meet one and you go to a, a conference and you get introduced to others so you know this is really amazing so you know you're one of a kind. There's not a whole lot of other kids out there your age who have done such an amazing amount of good work. Have, have you looked to the future? Like, do you see yourself doing um, this particular program like indefinitely, uh, like maybe like through high school? And have you thought about your future and uh, what you might like to do with your life? You know, so talk about Cookies for Cures and where that might go over the next few years and then beyond that, where you might go. I hope that I can keep running it forever. <laughs> okay. But um, so at some point, I want to have a treatment for every single rare childhood disease out there. Um, so I'm trying to go and slowly make my way through all of them without treatments. And there's a lot without treatments, aren't there? Yeah. yeah. So this has been, I'm sorry, I go think ahead. Around 95% of all rare diseases do not have a treatment. Amazing. So this has been quite a learning journey for you, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really something that most people know very little about. I mean, I am a doctor and most of the conditions that you have been talking about, I'm 
barely know a thing about because they're rare diseases. They don't really teach much about them in medical schools. Doctors don't know much about them. So it really takes advocates like you and others to actually bring them you know, from way down at the bottom of the pile up to the top of the pile, because these are diseases impacting real people, real people that are part of your life, right? Yeah. It, it matters, you know, when you think of them, not just as a label, but it's the person that now has that label, right? And the families yeah. that are affected, you know, the parents and other children in the family. So it's been, um, really an amazing journey. And um, I'm so happy that, that this is the path that you've chosen. You know, I mean, there's so many paths kids can take and what could be better than a kid working so hard to help other kids out there who have so few advocating for them. You know, this is such a big deal. And um, just go back for people who maybe just tuned in and tell them about the active project with the SMA cures that you're working on now. So we can make sure that everybody knows how they too can make a difference through participating in this project. So maybe you could just go over that again. All right. So for any of, of you that did not, uh, that weren't here when I started, I'm, I'm Dana and I'm the founder of my nonprofit Cookies for Cures. We raise money to fund research into rare pediatric diseases by baking and selling cookies. And um, this year I have a project that's trying to raise $50,000, which will be half of a research grant that will fund research into the rare disease called, M called SMA. And I'm super duper close. My grandma, ha my grandma, grandma police has been really, really nice and is offering an $1,000 match which will get me really, really, really close to $50,000. Every single donation counts. And if you want to help, you can go to www.cookiesforcures.com with the number four and donate. There's a, there's a big donate bu button up in the corner. That was perfect because... Cookies for, Thanks. the four is the number four, cookies for cures. And I have their, um, their connecting information at, at the bottom of my bio on Instagram right now. So for those of you who didn't have a good piece of paper and a pen available, or you just didn't quite remember it, you can just look at the bottom of my bio on Instagram when, when we're done here, because this matters. This is about real children who are suffering and you know, you already, Dana, you know, it's so amazing that with the research that you did for Mila, that that money, that was like well, almost $60,000 actually contributed to finding a really viable treatment for children with her condition. Like, how amazing is that? And, and we have to always have hope because research is the key to actually linking these conditions with a treatment that's actually going to change the lives of these children. So it's children battling for children. It's like, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I could not be a prouder grandma than I am of you, Dana, and all that you have done. For those of you didn't, didn't hear, since Dana st started her work and she has now this foundation, Cookies for Cures, she has raised over a hundred and fifty thousand dollars every penny was donated to help with research for specific conditions that are rare to children so it's an amazing amazing story and it's only at the beginning like you said this is just the beginning you're going to go with this and keep traveling and journeying through life helping children in so many different conditions because as you said what 95 percent of rare diseases have no treatments. How sad is that? But through advocacy, through donations, through what you're doing, baking delicious cookies, and I want you to show your delicious cookie again. And you have to tell us, I forgot I to right ask here. you, Dana, how many cookies do you eat? <laughs> how many are set aside for you? Well, if I use it for like pictures, 
and it gets close to my mouth, then I get to set it aside for myself. <laughs> but in general, we have a rule that is no eating any cookies until after the bake sale. And then if you don't uh, go too crazy with it, I take it. Yeah. Well, I can personally say the cookies are gorgeous. They're wrapped beautifully when they're delivered. They're like yummy as can be. And um, they use only the greatest ingredients. Yeah. Yeah, the best cookies on earth for the best cause on earth, right? And for <laughs> those who don't want to eat cookies, you just take money, right? <laughs> yeah. For the cause, for the children. So Dana, we will do this again, okay? Yeah, that sounds great. We have to, we have to help you to reach that goal of $50,000 for that grant for SMA research, right? We have got to get to that $50,000 goal. You're so close. You're so yeah. like that much away, right? So we're going <laughs> to yeah. get there. We're going to make it happen. And then after it happens, will you come back on and share how much you raised? Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, I want to wish everyone out there a safe and happy holiday season. Be well, take care, and come back and join us. Join Dana and me and me for my Instagram live because we have so much more to talk about down the road. So take care. Yep. Hope to see you all soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.